Tell me a little bit about the duckbill. There's a, a lot of species of duckbill. Yes, duckbills are amazingly strong. They are built a lot like T. rex, a little shorter in the foot, but basically this is a fast running multi-ton veggie star. There were duckbills so big they could terrorize a T. rex. Most of them are mid-size, elephant size. Leonardo's name is Brachy, which means low, Lofo, which means crest, Saurus means dinosaur, basically. It's the dinosaur with the low crest. Why did it have a low crest? You wouldn't see it when the animal's facing sideways to you. You wouldn't see the crest. It would have to lower its head. Then you'd see it. That's a clue to how that crest was used to, communi to communicate. Maybe it had a special color band there, maybe in the mating season. So you can imagine a brachylophosaur walking along, an adult, male or female, sees another one, sniff, 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 and a head-lowering behavior to expose its signature. Duckbills were instantly famous for having very, very small teeth which were packed together. You get up to 200 teeth in one row, all packed together. So you put your fingers over a duckbill a jaw, and it is a food processor. The duckbill dinosaur is the ultimate evolutionary product of a hot-blooded plant eater attacking tougher and tougher and tougher plants. All dinosaurs had big eyes, eyes like birds. They saw in color as birds do. So if Leonardo's predators saw in color, Leonardo's species had to have color-coded camouflage. It was a woodland that during the spring would be wet and full of young green leaves. During the summer it would brown out a bit. There were bare patches of soil, but also swamps. I imagine a blotchy camouflage involving browns and greens. How did duckbills walk? Four feet, two feet? Everyone thought, me included, that they walked just on two feet. Because the hind feet are like 30 times stronger than Huge. the front feet. They're, they're <laughs> immense yeah. and very strong, as the bumps on the bones prove, very powerfully muscled. When footprints were found, Surprise, surprise, they're using these delicate, slender forepaws to walk, too. Do you want to know something really weird and yes. frightening? Mm -hmm. It's the only dinosaur. It's like if you'd go back in time to the early Judithian age there in Montana, you'd just see herds of brachylophosaurs and nothing else. Why? We, the, the, the Houston Museum, and especially the people up in Malta, have been scouring the outcrops mm -hmm. in its time zone from about 77 to 76 million years ago. It's the only thing you see, bone after bone after bone. We spent a couple of days there early in the summer, must have seen 15, 20 sites with bone. Every single one was Brachylophosaurus. Leonardo died and was preserved in a crisis zone. Something bad had happened to the environment and only this one species could survive and thrive. What went wrong with it? I don't know yet. But we have a couple of other intervals in the history of dinosaurs where you have dozens or hundreds of skeletons, all of the same species.